Hey everyone, Mr. Everything here, and like I said, I was going to do some more videos on the Xbox One because there's not too many more games you know, that are coming out right now, and there's really just nothing really I think worth reviewing. So today's is going to be basically a tutorial on how to add external storage or expandable storage to, to your Xbox One console. If you're anything like me, you're probably already about out of space, maybe even already out of space. If you just want to keep a couple of games, but I don't know, I like to collect games for it, and I really don't like to sell games, because it's hard to get your value back on them. So I'd rather just keep them and, you know, collect them. Sometimes you can get your money back, and it's worth putting it toward another new one, but GameStop's not your friend when it comes to that, because you barely make even. You'd be lucky to. So you can see here, I have, what, 7.7 .7 gigabytes free, so not really much at all. 97% of my storage is uh, used. I did take a few demos off and stuff, but I really don't want to sell games just to have you know, more storage space. So, obviously I think it's time to get an external hard drive if you're like me and you use a lot of games. Okay, so this is the external hard drive I got. It's a Seagate, and if you would look at the packaging and see it in a store, that's what it is. There's really no ex explanation to it. It's a pretty nice looking drive. Nice and thin. Fairly high quality, a little weight to it so it won't slide around. I got this on a Black Friday sale on Amazon for a decent price. It's two terabyte. I highly suggest getting two terabyte. You could get one for maybe around 50. But you pay just a little bit more and you get double the storage. And uh, what I got about 10 games on 500 gigabyte Xbox One hard drive, which after the up or the OS and everything's maybe 350 some. So, I mean, you could maybe put 20 more on a 1 terabyte. I say get 2, double it, and then it'll probably last you for the entire console, you know, life cycle or lifespan for however many games they put on it. So hopefully this time that I have the Xbox moved out of the way and the cable is upside down, which made everything more complicated, I'm obviously going to put this in a back USB 3.0 so that way I can keep the one in the front free. So it's plugged in back here. If you notice a difference in uh, video or audio, that's because I'm using my tablet's camera. External media storage ready. It should pop up with a prompt to format it because it's not going to work. I tried. It won't work unless you format it. See, it doesn't show up. So let's just go into settings and then in storage and see if we can get around this. Manage storage. Okay. And now it should show up. And again, if they can get this to focus here, the requirements are your drive needs to be USB 3.0 and 256 gigabytes or larger. Anything smaller than that, though, that isn't USB 3.0 can be used for like files like music or videos, but not games. Uh, you know, that's kind of sucks because, you know, you might have an old thumb drive, like 64 gigabyte thumb drive or something just to put a little more storage. But, you know, you just have to get, you're going to have to get a new external drive. Luckily, almost all of them are USB 3.0 by now. So let me go to, wish this would focus here on us, format for games and apps. And you see I have 1.8 terabyte free because that's just how memory works. You don't get the whole thing. Give your device a name. Let me just switch back over. To so basically everything switches back over to on screen. So I'm just going to give my device a name because it asks you to do that. Install things. Yeah, I will install things. Install new things here. Yeah, that's corny. Couldn't word it any better. Now I would like to say that when I first got it, I did hook it up to my... Well, that was quick. I thought that would take like 20 minutes or something. That was quick. So I guess I'll still tell my story. I just plugged it into my computer to make sure it showed up and all it really comes with is like a PDF file and some things. So nothing really on it. It was NTFS format, but you do have to format it for the Xbox One. I'd be curious to unplug it and plug it back into my computer just to see what um, file system it uses, but I really don't care. I'll probably just keep it plugged in and never change it. I, that was instant, basically. It formatted it instantly, so that's very good. If you have things on it, like if you were using an old one, 
it might take a little while to delete the stuff, I don't know. But that was pretty good. So now, from a whopping 97% used, I'm down to 16. So that's really good. So I can put more things on here. The problem is I spent all my money getting that drive, so you have to spend your money just to have enough space to get more games, which kind of sucks, but what can you do? So you can separate this to internal, which is what everything has been on, and now external, which I believe is what everything will be showing up on now. I might put a few of these, like Crimson Dragon, I deleted that because I never played it. I might put that back on. I really don't need the demos. But now you don't have to worry about stuff, you know, and this space shouldn't be a problem anymore. So again, if you have any problems, I'll just try and clear it out now. has to be over 256 gigabytes. has to be USB 3.0. First time I plugged in, it didn't show up. If it does for you, which it did once when I plugged it in, you just go ahead and tell it to format. If it doesn't work, then like I showed, you go to settings, and then you'll go to the system, and then to manage storage, and it'll show up here, and then you'll just have to format it. If you still can't figure it out, if there's still something wrong, check on the internet, ask me, maybe I can help you. This should be pretty easy and straightforward compared to the PS3 uh, uh, internal storage upgrade, which I did a video on. That was really long and in-depth because you had to do a lot of stuff. This, you're not losing anything. You don't need to back up anything. You're just adding to it. So I hope that helped you out. I'll put a link in the description for the cheapest 2 terabyte drive that I can find on Amazon, which is probably the same one that I have here. Yeah, this video hopefully wasn't as big of a wreck as the last one I did was. And I just, you know, I'll be back with a review on WWE 2K15 pretty soon and some more thoughts on the Xbox One and where we're at now a year later. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.